Hi guys, this video will show you how to convert unusable date text strings into a date format which Excel will recognize as being a date. So I've got three examples here. In all three cases I will be using the, the date function. Um, so in the first example we use the date function. So there's three parameters. The first one is a year parameter. So as you can see um, the text string in cell A2 contains um, the year. 2020 which is the which is on the right hand side of the text string so we need to extract the the four characters starting from the right of the text string in order to do that we have to use the right function uh, we then select the cell containing the text and the number of characters which we're going to extract is four um, so that's the year, year parameter done next we move on to the month so in order to extract the month we have to use the month function because the month function only recognizes serial numbers uh, we need to convert the month february into a date and then use the month function subsequently to extract the month from that date in order to do that we use the number in this case we'll use a one we then need to join it to um to uh, to the shorthand of the month February, the shorthand in this case will be FEB. So we join it to we we need to join it to the text FEB, which Excel recognizes as being short for February. In order to do that, we use the um, left function, and because from the left we want to from the left of the text string we want to extract the first three characters. So we select the text the cell containing the text string, and we want to extract the first three characters. So we enter three. Um, so that's um, the month part done and then we have to move on to the day and as we can see the day is in the middle of the text string so we need to use the mid function firstly to extract the day so we use the mid function and then we select the cell containing the text the 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 start um, so the starting point where we want uh, the mid function to extract the first character from will uh, will be the it will be from the space which exists between the month February and 22. So in order to get that character position, we need to use the search function. So we use the search function and we want to find the space. So we have to use, we use the um, double quotation marks. We enter a space and then we close the double quotation marks. That essentially represents a space. So we're finding a space within the text string. Uh, we are referring to this text here. And then we we close and then we need to extract the number of characters so how many characters do we want to extract starting from the space within the text string well the we need to ex extract three characters because the first the space is also included within the number of characters counted so we need to count the space plus two characters to cover um, both digits of the day so we have to use we have to we enter number three the number of characters and we then close parentheses we close it again and then we enter and there's the correct date format which excel recognizes as being a date now in the um, second example we have got another text string but in this case um, all of the uh, characters are represented by numbers so this is um, this will be a slight variation on the first example. So again, we use the date function um, because everything here is essentially digits. They're all all the characters are essentially numbers. There's no need to use any of the um, month, year, or day function within the date function because if by by extracting the relevant characters from this text string. Um, Excel will recognize the number and then by default it will be able to generate the correct date. So the first parameter is a year. Yeah, this time the year is on the on the left of the text string. So we need to um, extract the first four characters from the left. So we use the left function and then we select our text and we are going to extract four characters from there. And next we move on to the month. So the month this time is in the middle of our text string. And again, because it's represented by uh, digits by numbers, uh, there's no need to use the month function. 
within our date function. So we can just extract it straight by using mid function. So we use mid and then the text um, is this, is cell A3. And then we have to find, as we, did, as we did before, we need to find the first space that exists within the text string. So we have to use the search function to find the first space. So we want to find a space. So we enter our double quotation marks. We uh, enter, we press the space bar and then we close double quotation marks and we are searching within this text here. We close brackets and then the number of characters which we want to extract will be three because once again the space is included in the number of characters count. So we enter in the number three and then we close brackets. Next we move on to the day and then in this example the day is at the it's at the end of the text string. It's, it's on the right hand side so we need to extract the two characters from the right of the text string. So we use the right function. We select our text and we want to extract the two characters from the right. We enter two, we close parentheses and we enter and there we have the correct date format. In the final example, uh, we will use the date function again. Uh, for the year, we've got the year on the left hand side of the text string. It will always be four characters long. So we have to use the left function. We select the cell reference, then number of characters will be four. To extract those four characters from the left, which contain the year. And now we move on to the month. Um, with the month, again, because the month is in the middle of the text string, we need to use the mid function. In addition, as the month is in a text format, so we need to convert it into a date and then use the month function within the date format to extract the month from that date. So in order to do that, we have to use the month function. We then have to use, we can use any any number, I'll use one, then we have to join the one to the mid of this text. The start number will be six because in this um, text string format, the year will always be Four characters long you'll, all have, you'll always have a space after the the year and then um, the first character of the month will begin always at the sixth character position within the text string and as we this format will always have the month in its shorthand format that will always be three characters long in excel so we enter number three then we close our brackets then we move on to our day, and as the day in this example is on the right hand side of the text string, we have to use the right function and we want to extract the two characters from the right to get the day. So we select our cell reference, which has the text, and then number two represents two characters. Then we close our bracket, we enter, and there we have it the 18th of March 2020. So to test out these examples um, to show that it works. So if we were if we were to change this date here to um, August and then that updates to August automatically. If I was to change this date to say the 9th that updates automatically. If I was to go down to the second example and change the month to the 8th, the day updates automatically. If I was to change the day to say the 17th, it changes automatically. If I change the year to 2019, the date updates automatically. And if I was to go to the third example, and again, if I change the month here to June, it updates automatically. If I change the day to um, the fourth, it again updates automatically. If I change the year to 2017, it updates again automatically.